Good morning YouTube, welcome to the financial information channel. In this video I'm going to give you the information about the stock that is very very attractive right now. That stock is called AMD and it has been making huge profits so far this year. Let's start with the video. So the reason why I decided to make this video is because AMD has been downgraded to sell from Goldman Sachs. But let me give you a brief description what is AMD. So AMD is one of the semiconductors company that produces computer processors and graphic cards. And they are actually releasing two products that are gonna compete with those two markets. But first, before we go into any details, let's look at the statistics right now, how it's in the stock market. So we are at the Yahoo Finance website, as you can see, AMD stock is trading right now at $13 with 52 cents. This is as of April 7. The stock was downgraded from Goldman Sachs to sell. Basically, Goldman Sachs said that they are not able to keep up the pace to see how it's growing so far. So far in 2017, the stock has been up to at least 17%. And we are barely four months into 2017. And that is without taking into account the reviews about the new products. One that is coming up during the summer, which is the graphic cards called Vega and the CPU, which is Ryzen. But we're going to look at the statistics right now. As you can see, the previous high was at 15. So they have a market cap of about 12 billion. Now let's gonna look at their financials. So the first thing that we're going to look at their income statement, as you can see, their revenue has actually gone down the last three years. In 2014, their gross profit was 1.8, 2015 is 1, and as you can see in 2016, it's, it's less than 1. Unbelievable. Now, one of the positives is that they actually the revenue has gone up quite a bit, and most likely it's going to go up this year with the two products that are coming up. And they can actually have been um, beating their estimates for the last year. Next thing that we're going to look at is basically their cash flow, and as you can see, um, it's actually their net income has gone down quite a bit, but not as much as the previous year. It's still down quite a bit, you know, compared to 2014. However, it's not as bad. I think it's gonna recover after these two products. And then we're gonna look into their balance sheet. Now in their balance sheet, we can actually see if the company is in good standing. As you can see, they have cash of 1.2. However, if you can see down um, below, their long-term debt is a 1.4. So basically, they're actually in the negative right now, but not for that much. I think this is only going to affect if you're planning to invest into the company for a very long time, and if you don't see their products, you know, making any headlines. Now we're going to look at the summary. As you can see, their P ratio is about negative 22. Basically, they have lost a lot of money, you know, in the past. They're actually going to report earnings on May 4th, which probably are going to have some figures, you know, to see how Ryzen is doing so far. And their 52 week high has been $15 with 55 cents. Now, like I said before, AMD has been one of the stocks that have been red hot the last few months. Now, let me tell you one thing that I, I'm actually doing with AMD. Uh, and let me explain how I'm planning to invest into that stock. First, let me tell you that at the beginning of May 2016, I bought 250 shares of NVIDIA. The price at the time for NVIDIA shares was at $36 per share. Now, I ended up selling all my position of NVIDIA in January 31st of this year, 2017. Now the price for NVIDIA share at that time was $109 per share. Now, as you know, NVIDIA was actually one of the best stocks last year. So actually made a lot of money in that stock. The best stock in the semiconductor, based on my opinion, that I fits my investing style is going to be an AMD. Now the best semiconductor based on my style in my opinion, for me, it's gonna be AMD. So I actually added position. I bought around 250 shares of AMD before the market closed on Friday. Now, I expect AMD to go up just as much as it has been going so far. Now, another thing why I decided to invest into AMD is because AMD is in the gaming consoles, they're in the PS4, which is the PlayStation 4, and they're Microsoft Xbox. And even though PC gaming is going down at the moment, you know, the gaming consoles, is actually getting more attraction every year. In addition, one of the things that I read last year when I was investing into NVIDIA is that AMD has a contract with Apple, and I'm gonna put a link 
on that video where they talk about that contract and that's a huge deal and even though the computer numbers are down every year apple computer sales are not as down as most of the other companies for example like hp or dell and let me show you another news that I actually i was surprised and even though i had position in nvidia i was thinking of getting into amd at that time however nvidia was making such a huge run that i didn't want to miss any profits but let me show you in the computer what i'm talking about now as you can see amd radon technology will be available in google cloud platform in 2017 now as you know google cloud is one of the huge cloud platforms that we're actually having in the industry having amd chips is a huge win for amd and amd has partnered with dell and oculus so they can actually prepare for the vr you know evolution and those news happen in 2015 so i think they're gonna take more advantage once vr become more mainstream now what is my take on amd in my opinion amd is going to go up i still expect to have the stock go up quite a bit even though goldman sachs gave a sale on that stock and if you think about it, that's not an opportunity for you to buy because the stock actually dipped for a bit. It was trading around $14. Now it's trading under $14. So I would expect to have the stock about $16 to $18 by the summer. Now I have read a lot of Ryzen 5 news and I'm reading a lot of positive reviews based on that. And I'm actually glad that AMD is actually doing good because Intel needed that competition, you know, so they can step up their game. That what makes Ryzen special is the prices are very affordable when you are talking about the highest Intel chip. Now for me, that stock I'm gonna continue investing because I expect the stock to go up quite a bit, like I said earlier, anywhere between 16 to 18 price. So that's my final verdict. I'm gonna give the stock a buy for my investing style. Now you're gonna have to decide by yourself to see if you wanna invest into that stock. Well, that's going to be everything for the video. Please like this video if you find it helpful. Leave a comment in the comment section to see what you think about the AMD stock right now, especially since it dropped the price. Subscribe to the Financial Information channel and have an excellent day. Take care, my friends.